Hi, this is Jamie Stegmeyer from Stonemeyer Games, and today I'm going to talk about how to ask for feedback effectively about your project page. One of the things I do before I launch a Kickstarter campaign, usually a few weeks in advance, is by that point I put together the project page and I send out a preview link to a number of people. I, uh, this is key, two things are key here. One, I'm doing it well in advance of the project, so I actually have time to implement the feedback. And two, I'm not just sending it to one or two people, not just a few close friends. I'm sending it to a variety of people. Um, and I've seen many people do this on Facebook. They'll post to what, maybe the Kickstarter best practices group. They'll post the, their preview link a week or two before the project. And that's great, because then you're getting feedback from completely random strangers who have no investment in you at all, and you'll actually get blunt, honest feedback. Um, some of the ways that you can make sure that you're, you're on the right path for this feedback are A, uh, be open to actually receiving feedback. So when you choose the questions you ask, and I recommend asking a few specific questions, you can ask a global question like, what do you think about the project page? But I always try to think of a few things that I'm actually really concerned about, like, is the price fair? Or is this image effective? Is, is the video long enough or too short? It, you know, very specific things about the project page. When I ask those questions, I ask myself, am I really looking for feedback about this? Am I really willing to change it? Or am I just looking for affirmation? And if you're just looking for people to affirm you and, and, and approve you, that's great, that feels good, you can do that with a few friends. But if you're asking the public for feedback, or if, you're, if you wanna respect people's time if you're asking for feedback, actually be willing, make sure you ask things that you're actually willing to act on, that you're actually willing to, to hear. Um, and one way to pay attention to actually, if you're not willing to hear that, is if your first reaction is defensive. If so, if the first time someone gives you feedback about something, if you defend the choice that you've made, then you probably know that you're not actually willing to change that thing and, and you shouldn't be asking for feedback about it. Um, that actually sums it up. Uh, I, I've looked over my, I have a blog entry here about how to give and take tough love feedback. There's some more details on that blog entry, but overall, I've talked about the key things today. Do it in advance, ask a number of people, including some strangers, and ask specific questions about things that you were actually willing to act on and receive feedback on. Good luck, thanks.